Hey there, Johnny Daniel, independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! It is Wednesday, 7 o'clock. I hope you're doing well. I am. I just finished the gym, showered, ready to go, ready for you. So we have, uh, if you're joining me, a couple things. One, um, if you're joining me, please comment because your comment not only is good for one raffle, but for two. So we are still doing question of the day. We're going to change the hashtag on you. So it's shorter and one word. So there's not as much confusion. One, two, just for you commenting, you will get five tickets into the raffle that will be done Monday, May 2nd at announced at noon. Cutoff is at 10 a.m. And the prize is the five new in color ink pads. So without anything else, we're going to flip you around because I've got like six cards to show you tonight. Not to do, but to show you. And we've got quite a bit going on. So I'm going to flip ya. So this is the infamous jar. Help me fill it, you guys. So here's how this works. I don't know if you saw the guidelines or not. Let me get this in here. Let's see if it's, hey, pretty good. Let me try one other. Okay, so let me get the computer back up now. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Okay, so, all right. So if you didn't know it already, the highlights for May are up and ready to go. I don't want you guys to be caught off guard because I don't do the invites like a month early. Um, there was a lot of confusion last time I did things a month early, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and that's all we're going to say. Um, so I am working on May's class already, but I'm just telling you that this is what's going on. Okay. So for those of you that like to plan way, 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 way ahead, here's what's going to happen. You can go off of the highlight sheet until I get the invite out. And you can tell me you're coming. I allow RSVPs on my website, and my website is three months out. So, yeah, really. So, hey, Gina. Hey, Penn. Hey, Pam. Hey, Cheryl. So, those of you that have commented, that's five tickets. I'm going to go through the comments absolutely afterwards so I don't miss anybody, right? Uh, I'm going to grab a sip of tea. My infamous peach tea that I love that is no longer being made. Oh! So, yeah, it's, you know, some days are just like that. So, here is the highlight sheet for May, if you can see. Um, for those of you that need more projects, you might want to join my team because I do another whole class for my team once a month as well. Hey, Lise, how are you? Um, so let's see, I've got farmer's market, I've got classes, product class. I am waiting to see how inventory goes for a minute on the orders to see what suite we are going to do for the product class. Um, Lisa, are you going to be here for Memorial Day weekend? Should I do the beer class for that one? Just, you know, let me know. Um, and then Monday, May 30th, I am closed. I know, but it is a major holiday. So I am closed for studio time. Okay. All right. Tonight. All right. First off. This is the prize tonight, Approaching Perfection. I don't know how many of you need belated. I do, occasionally, yeah? So, um, bad news, I forgot your birthday. Good news is I forgot your age. So, um, this is an old celebration set. Old meaning a couple years ago, but has never been used. So, this is the prize for tonight. Here's how we're changing things. I'm trying to make it easier, okay? 
So when you answer the question of the day, instead of saying question of the day, prize, okay? Not easy to write for me for some reason, but prize. And then if you want to order C, D, Y, four, K, J. Yes, I got a different Sharpie, so that way I didn't have squeak, squeak, squeak. So, okay. Please remember, tomorrow, 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 like starting at midnight tonight and going till midnight um, Thursday. So as long as it's date stamped, time stamped, date stamped, the 21st. But remember, we're in Stampin' Up! World, which is mountain time, which is an hour before. So if you're going to say midnight, you're really going to say 11, okay? Um, this will get you... This is the host code for the club bonus. So if you're doing 50 or more, this is that, okay? Um, but tomorrow, if you are doing an order that is 75 or more, do it online, do this code to get the bonus, and you will get free shipping. If you are not doing a $75 order, please contact me instead of doing online. Here's why. I'm gonna group a bunch of orders. And I'm going to put them in at 7.30. So you need to get it to me before 7.30. And I'm going to group them like we're not supposed to do. So you can get free shipping. Okay? Shh. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> Just teasing. But you hear me. Okay? So that's what is going on. So if you need anything, you need to let me know before 7.30 tomorrow night. Okay? All right. Um, question of the day, we're still going to call it question of the day, but the hashtag, because you want the prize, right? Is hashtag prize space and then your answer. I figured I would eliminate several words and several letters and that way it's quicker for you. So give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Give me a thumbs up that I shortened it. You know, I don't know whatever, right? So, question of the day for today. Yay, thank you. Question of the day for today. What is your favorite technique you do when you create? What is your go-to? Is it a simple card, meaning not a lot of layers? Is it a ton of layers? Is it coloring? Is it, I just want to know, what is your go-to? Now, some of you, I might already know this because I've got cards from you and I know from classes and stuff, but I'm just curious, what's your go-to, okay? So, for tonight, and then answer hashtag prize, wet embossing. Okay, so that means the powder and all that stuff, right, Gina? Okay. All right, so for tonight, I'm like, I'm looking for the other pieces of my card, but we're doing simple cards, right? So there it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm going to show you about one, two, three, four, five, six cards, and then I'm going to do a seventh. I thought it was only four or five. I guess I really got to go in this morning <laughs> when I was planning this out. Oh, and next week... I'm going to be doing, oh, cool. You like to color, huh, Iris? With what? Alcohol markers, blends, watercolor pencils. Um, I don't know what else right off the top of my, the blending brushes. I don't know. Layers. I knew that about you, Lise. <laughs> the bigger the card, the better, because you can do like 15 layers then. <laughs> so, yep, I did know that. All right, so next week I'm going to be doing a quilted card. So it's going to showcase a piece of designer series paper and then have a quilted pattern kind of look. So if you have quilters that you would like to see this, please share it. And that gets you a ticket, right? We're going to fill that jar. We are for that, for those in color pads, right? 
All right, so for tonight, we're gonna do simple cards, thankfully, right? Because I don't know about you, but how many times do you sit down and go, their birthday's in two days? And you need something that is decent and doesn't look like you went bam, 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 done, but you need something like quick, right? Because the mailman is coming down and you're going, it needs to go out, right? Okay, cool. Alcohol buns and blending brushes. Got it. So, um, these are cards that you can make with extra pieces and parts because where's Cheryl? <laughs> where's my Lisa, my other Lisa? Um, this, these are cards that you can make with extra pieces and parts don't require a bunch of layers and can be quick because we all know people that we're going to mail to that are probably going to chuck it. I know, I know they've sinned, but we have to have some that are quick. So, <laughs> right, Cheryl? I know, right? Your scraps, huh? This is some of the ideas for using them. All right, so this first card, um, I gave a lot of love to the rainbow set when we first started the mini but haven't lately, right? So I was like, what else can that rainbow thing look like, right? So if you remember the dies, it's this connected to this, right? So cut this, cut this, cut this, cut this. I did put adhesive on the back. So there you go. Um, and I used like a border of a scrap and then only did one full length, okay? Because this is that tag, okay? So this one, literally just popped them out, trimmed them with the scissors so that way they were even, stuck them down, stamped rhinestones. Actually, these are the opal rounds, I should say, okay? So there you go. Don't be afraid to pull your stuff apart. Okay, so there's one. Second one, very, very simple. I don't know if I like this bow because, you know, flopsy ribbon, but hey, it's okay. So this is the hammered metal 3D embossing folder that's actually in the BOGO, right? This is just flipped upside down, so it's more concave instead of up. And then this is the double oval punch and some crinkle seam binding ribbon. You make this world a better place, right? So just simple, right? Sometimes that's what you need. And then I was like, hey, there are times where we die cut and there's pieces and parts. Hey, Pam, question of the day. Well, first off, here's the thing. Do you see this up here? We're not doing hashtag question of the day. I shortened it because I had people putting spaces and all kinds of stuff happening or not happening at all. So we're gonna do hashtag prize because that's what we're going for, right? And what is your favorite technique you do when you create? What is your go-to? Do you do a lot of layers? Do you like to color? What do you like to do? So, all right, sorry about that. <laughs> Moving on. All right, so this one, I took the big butterfly in butterfly brilliance, I believe it's called, and I die cut it out with adhesive, I have to say, and I die cut it out and then I cut it with a circle and I did pieces and parts and then I did a scallop with the layered circles and then I got, what's this set, biggest wish, I'm like I was going to call it big wish, um, and just stamped. Now, if you want to put bling around, you can do that, but we're going for simple, right? Stuff that mails easily. So, all right, this one, here's what you do with your little strips. So grab, this is, this is when you cut a mat and you have one whole side and one whole side left over because you've cut a quarter inch off, right? So I just wove this glue dot, glue dot, glue dot, glue dot on all four corners. Stamp, stamp, couple blings. Done. All right, pen. Hashtag prize. 
space pop-ups. <laughs> and what do you mean by pop-ups? Like pop-up cards? So, all right. This one is super simple, but very elegant looking. So I'm gonna get this a little closer. So if you were in class, craft class last week, you will recognize this. See, I'm using my, my stuff, huh? So this is the cutout from the scallop from the front of the ladybug thing. And so this is just a frame on the white card. There's no layers here, okay? Then I grabbed, and I actually did this with um, seal. I should have done adhesive, but I did not, okay? And I cut one stem, two leaves, and then the three for the tulip dies. And yay, pen! Thank you, honey. Um, put that together with glue dots and then did a simple black and white thank you from the tulips um, stamp set. Okay. And then last but not least, I did a simple punch out put some bling and then stamped through. Why? Because I want to make sure it fit. That's it. Cool, huh? So now I'm going to show you a version of that with what we have here. So I have a thick basic white card stock, piece of card stock, cut at four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. We're gonna fold this guy in half, get all my dust off of here from my plate. I've got my memento ink, I've got some matte black dots, and I've got my biggest wish. So here's my question to you. Thanks, hello. Happy birthday. Hello, friend. What, what are we doing tonight? That's my question for you. So do we do happy birthday? Do we do hello, friend? I'm like, thanks. I don't know. If happy thanks. Yeah, not so much, right? <laughs> so do we do thanks or birthday? Or no, no, no. Do we do hello or birthday? Happy birthday, friend. Okay, so who's gonna be the deciding vote? I have to say my birthday pile is kaput. <laughs> There's like, somebody came through, I think I have three birthday cards left out of like 20. All right, so we're tied. Uh, let's see, happy, uh, okay. Thank you, Gina. <laughs> okay, so this is really, really, really simple. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my blocks. Reach, reach, reach. Okay. And we are going to do happy birthday if I can find happy. <laughs> that is the question. I want the happy in the cursive. Here we go. So. Happy is going to be smaller, and birthday is going to be in the block, the big block, not the cursive, okay? Okay, so we are going to stamp this guy in here. Happy. Okay, with the black, that tuxedo, you need to give it a couple more seconds than you would the water-based. It just takes a second more. I'm not sure why. It's something with the formula. And then I'm gonna stamp birthday down here, but I wanna make sure that I am flat, flat. So I'm gonna open up my card because I'm not doing this with the Stamparatus. So, and hopefully it's not too distressed looking. <laughs> we'll just say it that way, huh? So there's my happy birthday. And then we're gonna do some bling. 
and jazz this up a tiny bit. So I'm going to start with my big one. Now you might want to pick gems that have more than two sizes, but you know, up to you, right? So, but I am going to just kind of randomly, I wanted kind of a filigree, like fishtail kind of thing coming off. We'll see if I do it. I don't know. It might just look weird. And then down here, we're going to do another one. And this one I want bending this way a tiny bit. Why? Because I need it to hook around. This is the idea. I don't know. We'll see, huh? So if you wanted more, if you wanted less, if you wanted to just do, you know, it's up to you, right? Of course. And yes, I can just grab them. If you need the putty tool, if you need your snips, if you need a tweezer, go for it. You know, it's just whatever you need to do. But we're working on seeing if we can get this all set, ready, and done. And let's see, do I have odd or even? Does it matter because we're doing pattern? I don't know. So six, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, sixteen. Oh, oh no! No, I'm just teasing. So I think we're good. We're going to leave it with even this time. So do not be afraid to play around, even if it's simple, right? Don't be afraid to play around with your stuff. Do pieces, parts, you know, you name it, right? So... But next week we're gonna get back to complicated. You don't, it doesn't always have to be complicated, right? <laughs> so has everybody put in for the question of the day, the hashtag prize? I'm scrolling back up to the top. You have probably a full minute while I pull up everything else. The question is what is your go-to technique for when you create. So we're going to scroll through here. Hopefully it'll let me. No, of course not. So we're going to do it the old gosh, am I? So Miss Gina is the first one. Okay. And we got Lisa and Cheryl. If I can get my thing to scroll, that would be amazing. Lise and Cheryl. Okay. And I know Pam's in here, but I'm not down there yet. So we got Pam and Penny. So P and P, I can remember that. Pam and Penny. Cheryl, are you doing it? Oh, my thing just erased. Oh, I don't know why. I have to start over. I don't know what happened. But I will start over. Pam, Penny. Wet embossing is when you ink with the Versamark and you use powder. That is wet embossing. Or heat embossing, also, also known as. Okay. Um, there's also dry embossing, which is when you use like an embossing folder. And let's see. So Penny, Pam, I'm just double checking my, because my thing like totally erased and I don't know why, but so I'm going up instead of down. So much fun. Cheryl, you are in there. Okay. And I had you in here, but my thing went floop, and I love it when that kind of stuff happens. Don't you? So Iris and Gina. All right. I think I have Iris. I think I hit a wrong button is what happened. So Pam, Penny, Cheryl, Lisa, Iris, and Gina is who I have. Are we good? Somebody give me a thumbs up. Did I miss anybody? 
Yay. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for feedback. I appreciate that. All right, Miss Cheryl, where's our drums, my dear? Drum roll. So don't be afraid to use your huge dies and piece them out. I've done that quite a bit. So like, especially like the succulents where it's a whole sheet, you could get like six cards out of that. Kind of cool, huh? So let's see here. Thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> Drum roll. All right. Pick a random name, please. Uh, let's see. Yeah? <laughs> We've got Miss Cheryl tonight. So, thank you, my dear. Congratulations. You got approaching perfection, which we all are if you keep practicing and keep creating, right? <laughs> so, ay, ay, ay. Okay. Miss Cheryl, where are you? <laughs> I'm waiting for you. Cheryl, Cheryl. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> All right, so that is what I have for you tonight. Next week, we're going to be doing some quilting with paper. It's easier than it looks, I promise. <laughs> You're so welcome, honey. I will get it to you Saturday when I see you for the open house for the new catalog. So if you're planning on coming and want a project cut for you and you have not told me, please let me know so I can be guaranteed to have enough cut. So thank you so much for joining me. Follow me, stampingwithjohnny.com, and have a great evening. Bye-bye.